Jackson with a capital A. How much of what you or any running back does is just natural, is just God-given? Speaking for, you know, myself and probably guys in the league, we've been doing it so long. We were playing running back probably when we were little and Pop Warner, rec ball, and going to middle school, high school, I guess it's just come natural. And then as you get older, you learn from coaching and experience and you just let your game take over from there and that's how you find your identity as a running back. What's the hardest part of being an NFL running back? You know, guys are just so smart. All these guys on defense watch a lot of film, you know, so you gotta make sure, you know, you're being consistent in your play. I think that's a big thing, you know, just being this consistent, being efficient runner, being effective with the ball, not just running the ball, but pass catching the ball, being physical and blocking. You know, you just wanna be the total package, you know, in the NFL, you know, guys like that don't come around often. You said something about consistent, and, and that's what you've been this year that has been so impressive. Guys at the running back position come into the NFL and flash and then go away. It happens all the time. What's the key to developing the type of consistency that Derrick Henry has developed? I definitely have to be better. I wouldn't say I've been very consistent, but, you know, just my mentality is trying to get better each and every week. And I think just a mentality, you know, having a job approach, you know, it's a grown man league, so you got to take your job serious, you know, watch film, you know, be coachable. The little details matter, the little small things. And just focus on being efficient, being consistent in what you do, and having confidence in your play each and every week. Where have you improved the most as a running back since you won the Heisman Trophy at Alabama? It's just a different approach, you know, in the NFL. Everybody was the best player on their team, you know. You know guys, a lot of experiences, guys get paid a lot to, you know, play at a high level, pro bowlers, all pro. So you gotta make sure that you're working on each and everything you need to get better at, which I feel like I can get better at everything. So I try to focus on each and everything, each week or each day, because I'm always looking to get better. That's been my main focus since I've been in the NFL. Cold weather is upon us. Do you like playing in cold weather? And the second part is, why do you think you're more effective in cold weather? It really don't matter to me. Football is football. If it's cold, rainy, or hot, I mean, you just got to go out there and play. You know, that's the nature of the game. You don't have to play in those conditions. And I think it's just a mindset to go out there and play at a high level and win games with the team you're playing against. I, know, I think it's just a, a different mentality, you know, when it gets to the cold weather, you know, because nobody really wants to play in the cold, but you just have to be physical. Like I said, it's just a mindset thing. I think you just got to run more physical, one court runs, and just get downhill. Play in the division. When you play Jacksonville, you know they're going to be tough games. What's the key to having success running the football against a physical defense like Jacksonville's? I think you just got to uh, stay with it, stay confident, and believe in you know, the game plan has been installed for their defense where it might be muddy at times, it might not be big runs, but I feel like as the game goes on, if you stick to your rules and what you do as an offense, I think that those four to five yard gains are turning to bigger games, you know, because they're fast, they're physical, got disruptive guys, so, you know, you just got to stay locked in even when it don't seem like nothing's going well. Finally, the high school playoffs are here, and that's a big deal for so many young people and their families. Overall, a lot of people don't know that one of your biggest accolades is you are the all-time leading rusher in the history of American high school football. Does that still blow your mind in some ways? When I first broke it and, you know, going to college, I thought, you know, it was just so crazy, but, you know, it's been a while since, you know, that's happened, something that I'll never forget, you know, my high school teammates, because, you know, we all worked hard together and, I, you know, I appreciate them and all my coaches, you know, through all those four years. and. It was a big accomplishment, something that I never thought I'd be able to accomplish, but just definitely something I, I cherish, you know, still to this day. And do you think about during this playoff time how special it is for all these young people as it was special for you playing at Uly? Oh yeah, definitely. I know some of the, all those guys playing from their hometown and, you know, getting to be in the playoffs extending that season. You know, some guys might be their last year playing, some guys might be playing with a guy that he who's a senior and they're a junior, you know, last game playing with, but the high school memories, you know, you, you cherish those are the most and they're like Friday night lights. All right, go three. One, two, three. All right.